Thank you, Jess. <laughs> before I continue, before I carry on with what I have to say, I need you to compete over the noise of the crowd, over the clock, over the businesses, over all of the concerns that you have at this present moment, and be with me here today. Be with us here today. I need your undivided attention for just a few moments. The reason why is because our university is under attack. Our university is under attack. The people who teach us in this university are under attack. And we, the students, the reason this university works, are under attack. This is unacceptable. This is disgusting. This should not be happening. This is Sparta. We must I'm not allow John Dewey's arbitrary profit figure of $65 million plus and the 350 dedicated support staff, teachers, tutors, and lecturers be cut. Today we are striking for 48 hours. It should be a lot longer than that. We should be striking for more than one day. We should be acting for more than one day. Why? It's because it will serve as the boldest reminder possible. Please do not turn me down. Everyone needs to hear this. Thank you. We should be acting for more than just today. We should be acting every single day. We should be aware. We should be in defense. We should be ready to fight for what is ours, what we rightfully control. Today marks a day of resistance. A day of resistance among the many. Among the many that students have set, among the many that students have done in the past. The great revolutionary Vladimir Lenin once said, give me one generation of youth and I will transform the world. I'd like to let you know that we are that generation and the one and the generations that are going to follow. We shape the world as students when we graduate, when we walk out of here with that piece of paper several years from now. With an unfortunate excess of $50,000 hanging over our heads. How is it that someone in the higher administration who got a free ride for his education in one of the top institutions in the world is imposing this on us? Why? Because his interests are different from ours and he genuinely does, he genuinely does not give a good god damn. He would prefer to see us suffer financially, strip us of our variety of education, and let us walk away with a debt that we'll be paying off for most of our lives. He would rather see people stripped of their livelihood, who, who dedicate their blood and their sweat to teaching us, to model us into the working class of the future. This is not acceptable. What is to be done about this? Action it must be taken. Not just today, but every single day henceforth. We must be prepared, courageous, take aim and fire. Fire the Vice Chancellor, fire the higher administration. Remind them that we are the ones who dictate the direction of this university. Through our course variety, through our freedom to study whatever the hell it is we want to. As an Aboriginal Torres Strait Islander, as a First Nations person of this country, I know what discrimination looks like. I have seen it. This is exactly an epitome of which. My degree, your degree, the degree of your fellow classmates, your friends, every single person in this affair, every staff, every member of staff, academic support worker, is on the chopping block. Granted, some disciplines will be saved, but that's only what the Vice Chancellor deems to be worthy. Once again, we are the ones who should be deeming what is worthy. The control should be given to the university students. The university students and the staff, because ultimately, we are the ones who are meant to run things. We already do. So today, if there's one thing that you want to take away from this, don't be apathetic. Don't shrug it off and say, oh, tut tut, my friends are going to lose, my uh, lose their degree or lose a few subjects. My lecturer may be out of a job. Oh well, everyone has to dust off their resume. No! Absolutely not! They are striking today. We must show our solidarity with them and every other student today. We will be marching. We will be chanting. We will be making as much noise possible to let them know this is our university. It is the university that belongs to the staff. We run things. We deserve everything. And yet you dare give us nothing, Vice Chancellor. How dare you?